Welcome to a tutorial video on Ink for the Web. In this video, I'm going to review how exporting for the web works, what files it creates, and how to use those files. To start here, I have code within the Inky editor. I've used a previous example of my learning Ink tutorial videos, and I have the last video here on lists. So I have an example code over here on the left hand side, I have its preview over here on the right hand side. Now if I wanted to export for the web, I would go to File on the Mac version and Windows, and Export for Web. It's then going to ask me for the folder I want to call this, and in this case I'm just going to click Save and use the same project name. So it's now exported this for the web, which means I can now read it in an HTML file. The files it generated can be found here within its folder. So it generated an index index.html file for reading within a web browser, as well as the name of the project as its own JavaScript file, ink file, main file, and style.css. Now, if we've made changes to this and we want to update the HTML file, we don't actually have to re-export each time. Coming back to the Inky editor, I can just file, export, story.js only, go into the folder, select the file, in this case I have the same name, click save, and replace it. So, to review, exporting for the web within Inky is very easy. We go to File, Export for Web. It then prompts us for the name of the folder, and then we can create that folder. Then, as we're testing within the web browser, looking at the index.html file in a web browser, and we made changes to the code, instead of re-exporting the whole thing, we can just go export story.js only, find the same name, and replace that file, and refresh the web page, and those changes will be made apparent. Thanks for watching.